Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here again. So, uh, you guys didn't see my last video, it's a contest video. Uh, and uh, yeah, enter it. And um, you will not be disappointed with, this, with the uh, awesome prizes. And uh, we got like two responses so far. Make sure you add them as video responses, guys. Uh, otherwise, I gotta go searching for them. Because uh, I already have one that went up and didn't show in my sub box at all either. And I'm subbing the dude, so who knows. But anyway, I got some pimp jobs for you. Um, did a lot of shipping today, so couldn't do a whole lot of pimp jobs. But do two. They're pretty damn sick. First one is for my boy Dylan. Uh, Dylan is the dude who actually is responsible for the t-shirts and the hoodie that will be prize number three that I will show at a later date, probably in my next video. Um, really awesome guy, basically uh, making up some t-shirts and hoodies for pimp work, which is awesome. So this is his first knife uh, that I pimped for him, and uh, you know, a simple pimp job, the Strider PT. And he wanted to conceal carry carbon fiber on it, nice and smooth. I'm gonna put this down here. Got that awesome carbon fiber on there. Love smooth carbon fiber. Needs a couple tweaks. There's a little hole that needs to go through the uh, one side, which I haven't seen on one of these before, which is interesting, so. But the reason I got this Browse Blade shirt, uh, first off, thanks Jason, she sent this to me with a couple knives that he's getting pimped, and uh, I must say, dude, I'm very impressed with the, uh, the knives you sent. You know, like, like I've said in the past, like some stuff, you know, like everyone else, like some stuff I really, really, really like, and some stuff is okay, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, a lot of, Jason Browse's stuff is just fucking awesome, and uh, the ones he sent me were just out of control, and I just I just love all of them. I'm instantly inspired to do each of them, and the you know, last one I did for him, I, I wasn't really happy with the result. I was kind of going for the opposite of my usual style, which was kind of a dumb idea, but, but you know, no big deal. But this one, I know Jason's gonna love this shit. This is my favorite knife out of the out of the bunch he sent me. Um, I just had to do this one, and I had just had to use this material. Not sure what the name of this blade is, but it is awesome. I'm pretty sure it's D2 steel. Got a nice hollow grind in there, really nicely polished. Perfect. And then I went all out and put the C Tech shit on here with the Anzo pattern on it. Black liners. And it looks out of control on this knife. See that blue? It's a strange material. It's uh, really nuts looking on the sides and underneath. And it's just really nice and clean. And there's like blue like in here. The more you polish it, the bluer it gets. Um, but I kind of follow the grind with the, with, this, with the front of the handle there. It is extremely comfortable. This is probably the most comfortable thing I've ever held. It's just awesomely comfortable. I love it. And uh, this is definitely a good one, for sure. It's a nice lanyard hole there. Nice big chunk of, uh, I think D2, don't quote me on that, but this. This little thumb ramp feels real good. Choils feel real good. Perfect fit for my hand and everyone else that's held it. Um, I just love it, I think it's awesome. So this is a custom custom browse along with a couple other customs he sent to me. Um, this one being one of my favorites too. Very strange but amazing grip. I mean, 
I don't know what he was thinking with the shape, but it works. Kind of reminds me of that Spyderco, that weird Spyderco handle, which I remember holding that thing. I was like, why does this feel good? But this one's real cool. Also, this is a quick video, guys. Also, I got a few knives in the mail today. Uh, a, four Emersons, um, brand new. Uh, there's the Persian here, which is awesome. And uh, CQC-10, uh, Karambit, and um, one other one, I'm not sure, I forget. But it came from this place, uh, don't know who they belong to. I know sometimes I have to get stuff, some people have to get stuff shipped straight, directly to me. But unfortunately in the, my email I couldn't find any info about it, so uh, dude, uh, whoever these are, just contact me, because um, I'm not too sure. I'm gonna try to get to the bottom with it. I, I didn't really look too hard for, I just kind of looked up the Persian and the Emersons and I didn't see anything come up in my email. Uh, but I think there's some information on the receipt in there. But, uh, you know, save me some trouble and uh, let me know. And uh, let me know if I can buy this one off you. <laughs> just joking. It's a cool knife. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's all I got for you today. Uh, please check out the contest video. Pretty excited about it. And, uh, you know, when you, you don't have to draw, like, uh, you know, like, you don't have to be good at drawing, just get the general idea, you know, and uh, when you're drawing a picture of Anonymous, you can just take a picture from the internet or a magazine or a Playgirl, whichever one, wherever you find pictures of Anonymous. Shogun. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Enjoy your night. I'm going to go get some chicken wings, and unfortunately, I have to watch True Blood with my girlfriend. Yeah, <laughs> Soap opera. Sexy soap opera. I'm joking. I know a lot of you guys have to watch True Blood with your girlfriends. It's kind of uh, kind of annoying, but half-decent show, I guess. Not too bad. I've, I've seen worse, so have a good one, guys. Peace.